Hello everyone, Mr. Abdullah here. In this video, we are going to talk about polynomial vocabulary. It is on IXLZ1. Uh, the unique code of the assignment is MTT. If you search for MTT at the top in that search bar over here, uh, you will be able to locate this assignment. So let's get to work. Uh, the question, the first question is, says, find the number of terms in this polynomial. The terms are the things that are added or subtracted in the expression. So let's just start with an ex example. Find the number of terms in this polynomial. So looking at the key idea, terms are the expressions or numbers that are added or subtracted. Right now, the only term that the only expression or number that I see in here is W and it's a negative expression so there's only one term in there it's not added or subtracted to or from something else so that's why this would be only one term now back to our question I have 10 U that's the first expression and then I have a number 1 both of these added together so I have 2 terms in here okay moving on to the next level the number of terms so I will circle the number of terms here's the first one it's added to the second expression that one is either added or subtracted to the third one I don't see if it's minus or plus and then there's the fourth one so there are four terms the degree let's talk about the degree of a polynomial so degree is the highest power of a variable in the expression so it should belong to a variable that's one thing like this one doesn't count 10 squared the power the degree of this is not 2 because 10 is not a variable but the degree of this one here is 2 because x is a variable. 10 is a number, x is a variable. Uh, the powers of the, uh, the power, the highest power of a variable is the degree of a polynomial or of an expression. Now, back to our question. What's the, looking at the uh, terms, the only variable is v in here. I'm looking at the powers of v. One of the powers is 4, the other one is 2. And then, okay, number of terms, oops, sorry about that, number of terms is 4, the degree, the first power is 4, the second one is 2, there is nothing in here, that means v to the first power, so it's 1 actually, the power of that, that term is 1, and the power of this 5 the power of numbers are zero. Let me see. No, it's ignore what I said. It's there's no such thing. So that's five to the first power, but looking at a polynomial, the degree of the variable attached to five would be zero. But remove that part uh, from your memory, guys. So I just focus on the exponents of the variables and then I pick the highest one so the highest one out of 4 2 and 1 is 4 so both of the answers would be 4 for this one now let's move on to the next level number of terms I see three terms either added or subtracted 1 2 and 3 okay and then the degree would be the highest power of the variables the variable is x one of the powers is 2 one of the degrees one of the powers is 2 the other power is 1 if you don't see the power of a variable it means it is 1 x to the first power the highest of these two is the 2 it's not about how many x terms we have it's the uh, it's about the highest number in the exponents okay moving on to the next one hopefully okay uh, did it? Did I skip two levels? I think I did. Let me just do this one. Okay, number of terms, there's only one term. Uh, negative 8u cubed. 
because I'm not adding anything else to this, I'm not subtracting anything else from this, what am I doing? It's 1. So this right here is 1. The degree is the highest power of the variable. There's only one variable, u, and then its power is 3. So that's the highest one. Degree is 3. Moving on to the next one. Okay, classify this polynomial. Linear means... Oops. I'll just write some examples. Linear means when you graph, it forms a line on the coordinate plane. Okay, but how do you tell if it's a linear? So some examples would be m plus 3, x minus 5, 3x plus 4. So if the degree equals to 1, because this is m to the first power, x to the first power, x to the third first power, because you don't see any power. Uh, so these are all linear. Quadratic, they form a curve. Quadratic is going to form a curve. Let me change the color. And it'll have only one peak point. The maximum number of peak points that you're going to have in a quadratic function is one. So they usually look like either this or that. There's the peak point. There's the peak point. That's the maximum. You cannot have two of these if you're dealing with a quadratic function. So, but how do their equation looks like? Uh, one example would be x squared minus 6 or k squared plus 4k minus 1 or 3n squared minus 5. So the common uh, point of these three is that the highest exponent of the variables equals to 2. x squared, k squared, n squared. That's the maximum exponent. So that means degree of 2 or a quadratic function. So that's a second degree polynomial or expression and that's what makes it a quadratic. Cubic means I think this one is easier to understand. Cubic means it's still going to be a curve, but it is going to have two peak points, like this. This is just one example. The maximum two peak points. It can have, it's okay if it has like one peak point, but the maximum is going to be two uh, when, they, when the graph changes the direction, the top point and then the bottom. It can only have one as well, but it cannot have three. But you're not dealing with graphs right now. Let's just make a list of cubic functions or cubic expressions. x cubed, that's the simplest one. m cubed minus 5m plus 6 or 2k cubed plus 5k minus 7. Let's make this square and then this k plus 11. So I don't want you to confuse yourself by looking at how complicated these expressions are. Nobody cares at all. The only thing that you need to look at the degree of the polynomial or the degree of the expression. If the highest degree is 3, then you have a cubic expression. So that's all you need to focus. You don't need to look at the rest of the equation. Just look at the highest exponent. That's going to tell you whether you have a cubic, quadratic, or uh, linear. Linear means the exponent is going to be, linear means the exponent is 1, x to the first power, or just x. Quadratic means x squared, cubic means x cubed. So this one here, the highest exponent is squared of a variable, that would be a quadratic. Again, this would be quadratic. Let's see the next one. Okay, I'm not going to do a 90 for this one. The video is already too long. But this would be a linear, by the way, because it's z to the first power. And the number of terms, let me just quickly go over all of the things that we have learned. Number of terms equals 
number of terms there are two terms added together degree equals to 1 because z to the first power so that makes it linear thanks for watching guys and I will see you in another video let me pause this